By default, all waveforms are depicted as single-ended signals. But if you're working with differentially ended signals, any of the waveform types available in Timing Designer can be displayed as differentially ended signal pair. In the Waveforms Attribute dialog box, select the checkbox Draw Differential, which will activate the Diff Style button, allowing a style change for the complemented signal to easily distinguish it from the original. Color, Line Style, and Line Weight are all selectable from selecting this button. Style changes for the original are available via the Style button. Once the differential signal has been selected, clicking OK will apply the new settings, displaying the waveform as a differential signal with the complement name now displayed above the original. For easy state identity, with state machines or other value coded labels, Time and Designer can display state information for any signal, bus, or derived signal. This requires that actual values are either assigned or calculated for each respective state so the values can be resolved to the associated label. The decoded labels are listed in a table assigned to the waveform via the Decode Value button in the Waveforms Attribute dialog box. Select this button to access the table, and then make a list for each state value and its associated label. Select OK to get back to the Waveform Attribute dialog box, then select Decode Value from the Appearances area to display the state labels. Once Time and Designer matches the state value in the table, its associated label will be displayed. If a value is not recognized from the table, the specific value will be displayed. The time span of any edge-to-edge -edge relationship in the diagram window can be measured using the Measure tool. Selecting the Measure tool from the left toolbar will place the tool in the source target mode for measurements. Select the desired source edge with a click and then the desired target edge with a subsequent click to display the resulting measured value. Also, since measurements are non-intrusive edge events, they are excellent items to use for display of information between two edges. Sometimes the device manufacturer will state specific edge relationships that are guaranteed to be maintained in the associated delay chains. For these scenarios, Timing Designer has a guarantee event and a skew relationship that serve to combine the accumulated timing margins to comply with the boundary conditions established by the manufacturer. In Timing Designer, a guarantee event is an advanced analysis feature that places a boundary on any resulting margin calculation the associated edge positions are involved in. It's placed between any two edges in a diagram where a timing relationship is guaranteed to be maintained, such as the tracking of delays generated by the same part or a pulse generator with a confirmed minimum pulse width. A guarantee won't affect the positions of the edges involved, but will affect the measures of any downstream constraint which straddles the same two delay paths straddled by the guarantee event. Where guarantee events are used for edge-to-edge -edge relationships, SKUs are used in situations where two or more signals track each other by some guaranteed parameter, specified as a percentage of tracking performance. SKUs affect the percentage of common uncertainty to be removed from calculations involving signals that track each other. A typical application for a SKU relationship is a multi-output driver with signal source input. A SKU relationship is established in the parameter spreadsheet by selecting the SKU tool and then listing the associated signals and the percentage of tracking performance. A value of zero indicates the listed signals track perfectly so that any margin calculations between any of the signals will have all common uncertainty removed. A skew value of one indicates the listed signals don't track at all and no common uncertainty will be removed. For example, if a manufacturer specifies that signals track to within 8% of each other, you would enter 0.08 for the skew value. Sometimes, manufacturers specify skew in time units, nanoseconds for instance, rather than a percentage. For this situation, the skew value entered in the spreadsheet should be a formula of the specified skew time divided by the common uncertainty encountered in the signals. For example, a signal specified with a skew value of 2 nanoseconds and having an edge event occur with a minimum of 5 nanoseconds of delay to a maximum of 30 nanoseconds of delay, giving a common uncertainty of 25 nanoseconds would have a formula defined as indicated here. The parameter spreadsheet also allows for complex diagram capabilities. In the simple diagram demo, we saw how the spreadsheet logs each edge event placed in the diagram and that we can parameterize our diagrams with variables that can be referenced from any edge event or waveform. We can also create complex formulas for reference with built-in functions as well as user-defined functions allowing most any mathematical equation to be created. The formula field in the parameter spreadsheet 
is where you enter mathematical equations that resolve to edge events or variables values. Formulas can contain other variables or edge events as elements in the equations, and there is no limit to the reference nesting ability. It is suggested that users create and utilize variables in their formula equations wherever reasonably possible so that variations to formula results can be easily obtained by manipulating a single variable entry. Functions are available in the parameter and library spreadsheets and provide the convenience of most common mathematical functions utilizing built-in as well as the uniqueness of user-defined functions. Built-in functions allow users quick results to complex equations. The functions include simple conversions like rounding or conversion of degrees to radians as well as random number generation, logarithms, squares and square tools, and complex trigonometric functions including hyperbolics. Also included are very useful minimum, maximum, and mean functions which work on a list of spreadsheet elements. A complete list of built-in functions can be found in the chapter entitled Formulas in the Timing Designer User's Guide. User-defined functions allow users to create their own unique functions with no limits to their complexity. They are created by selecting the Function Tool button, which will add a function row to the spreadsheet, where you can then define the function equation along with its parameters. User-defined functions can be thought of as variables with parameters. In fact, Timing Designer will convert a variable to a function automatically if you add a parameter list to the variable name. Just like any variable or built-in function, user-defined functions can be used anywhere in the formula field of other functions, variables, or edge events.